Right, everyone, welcome back. So I made a video where we take a look at all my skins for attackers. Now we're going to take a look through my account for the defenders. Now, this is really fun because at the time of the recording, the Siege Marketplace is now out for the people who have signed up. So you can sell all these skins now and buy a bunch of old rare skins. So a lot of the skins you're going to see in this video, you can probably buy in the marketplace, even if they're super old and rare. But I'm just going to show you my favorite ones, go through all my skins, what I want to run on my defenders, and just equip them all. So, I guess we'll start with Smoke. Uh, and I have a few skins for Smoke I really like. So, this one for Operation Brutal Force. Uh, Brutal Force? Brutal Swarm. The Brutal Swarm Battle Pass. This one is a really good skin. Uh, his Night Haven attire, you know, you get to see his face. This was after his face reveal for, um, I believe it was the cinematic that came. The Sister Norm cinematic. So, this is a really nice set for Smoke. I think this one is great. And the Operation Chimera one. Is also a really good set. Just headgear and uniform, the hazmat one. They did do a lot of hazmat skins back then, but I definitely think the one for Smoke was the nicest, if we're going to be honest, because it fits him the most out of any operator. You know, I guess Lion, it fits as well, but Smoke definitely got the best hazmat suit um, from those packs, which I think is uh, I think is good. But his elite skin, I mean, we've all seen his elite skin. You probably own it as well. This one right here. It's a nice elite skin. Nothing too rare about it since you can all buy it, but it's a nice one. I definitely think his brutal swarm headgear is a little step up from his elite skin headgear. Um, of course, you've got like stuff like the furry one for Rainbow's Magic, which is, you know, a bit interesting. I personally don't run it, but whatever floats your boat. Uh, that headgear is pretty cool. I don't think it's got a matching set. The I think it's called Decontamination or something like that. It looks quite cool. There's a uh, Night Haven uniform. That's a really cool headgear for Smoke. Smoke gets a lot of stuff. Like, you know, you got the you got the Pickle Rick skin when they've done the Rick and Morty crossover. Which, uh, I mean, I bought it. I bought it for review purposes. I think it's cool. I, I don't know how much I'm into Rick and Morty these days, so I don't really run it. Uh, I'll put this uniform on just because it matches quite well. Another cool headgear. You know, Smoke gets a lot of stuff. You had his SI set uh, for 2022. Which looks like this. Which is clean. You know. It's kind of hard to mess up Smoke, I think. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of possibilities for him. You have the Demon Veil one. Uh, here's the Smoke set for that. Again, another really crazy skin for Smoke. And you've also got... There's so much. This was like, if you played Extraction, you got uh, this. Which is a great set on its own. Like, I feel like, I don't know, Smoke's probably got some of the best skins you can do. There's so much possibility with Smoke, and they've done so much. They've released so much with him. But I think right now, I don't know if I like him with his face, like this Nighthaven one. Because this Nighthaven headgear literally will go with any uniform, as you can see. Like, you can scroll through, this will go with literally anything. But I ask, I'm also a fan of this. Like, the, the Chimera set. Which I think is... I don't know. I like the hazmat. I think it works really well for Smoke. But you can... Like I said, every set looks good for Smoke. He's a really hard operator to mess up. But I think right now, my favorite set for him is probably the Decontamination. Maybe with his face out. I know that sort of defeats the purpose, but... I don't know. I kind of think that goes hard. You do stick out like a sore thumb, but... I don't care. I'm wearing a hazmat suit. It looks cool anyway. Like Smoke... I don't know. I just go so hard. So I think that's probably my favorite one for Smoke. That... Or, you know, we'll stick on the full set, make him the hazmat suit guy. I don't think this is available in the marketplace right now, so definitely a cool one. Uh, let's move over to Mute, because Mute has a lot of interesting stuff. So, I definitely think, like, there's a lot of skins which kind of stick out more than the other ones. Like, this one, it looks like a, it looks like a Stormtrooper. I don't know if that's what they were going for by calling it Clone, like a Clone Trooper or something like that. Uh, you've got this one which came out recently by Not A Mute Main, who is a community artist, and it was part of a Prime Bundle. Which is really cool. It's sort of like, you know, steampunk. I think that's what they're going for here. But it's a really cool skin. Uh, I definitely like his elite skin. Uh, I like to mix it up a bit here. So you have his elite skin, which is this one. They also done a battle pass skin for him, where he has this headgear. And this uniform, which a lot of people would probably say is better than his elite skin, let's be honest. Uh, I think it's definitely on par. I think you can kind of mix and match the elite headgear with this uniform quite well. I kind of like that. With the elite uniform, sorry, with the elite headgear and the uniform from this uh, battle pass bundle. But, you know, mix and match between them, you know, uh, this headgear with the elite uniform. Uh, you know, that looks cool as well. But 
when it comes to uniforms, I definitely think the one from the Battle Pass is better. I think the, at least the ones that I own, there's nothing that stands out too much. They're all just a bunch of recallers. You've even got a Night Haven one. But I, I really like using that with the Elite headgear, just because I think this. You know, I think this looks like a cool set. I think it, it complements it very well. So uh, probably definitely my favorite look for uh, for Mute right now. Uh, we have Castle. Castle, I think, is kind of... You know, I, I, I'm kind of basic with him. Uh, I don't think they've done anything too crazy, at least with the skins I own. Like, you had this one from Operation... Oh, I think this is when... It was either the season where Flores was introduced or Goyo. I can't remember which one this was. I think this might be Flores' season. So he's wearing, like, his logo on his t-shirt. And then, like, you can run, like, the Elite headgear on top of that. Which kind of looks cool. The uh, headgear that came with that as well is sort of the same, but he's just got, uh, like glasses on sunglasses a pair of sunnies but if you want to keep it like more the fbi look uh you know you can run his elite skin because his elite skin is nice i kind of wish that he had like a different uniform for him i don't know why it's like i didn't even know what this one is i've never seen this before <laughs> didn't even know i owned that one uh but you've got you know they're all right i don't really like that one that much i actually kind of like this one i know it kind of looks basic it's just a, like a green recolor of his default, but I actually really like it. This is... what one's this? This must have been from a battle pass, I can't remember. Um, what's this one as well? Is this a Pro League one? Maybe. A very subtle Pro League one of it is. It's not very noticeable. But I kind of don't... I don't know. Like, his Elite skin's cool. Don't get me wrong. And this skin is cool as well. So maybe I'll run this one for now. But I think he kind of just looks cool in, like, attire like this. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I think Castle kind of looks cool wearing the FBI uniform and then kind of just not a helmet. But Castle's a cool one. That evil genius as weapon skin. That's a really cool one. Now, Pulse. I have definitely a favorite uniform for Pulse. It's probably this one from the 2019 collection, which you can buy in the marketplace now if you're missing it. Uh, of course, not all weapon skins are currently available in the marketplace, but they are working their way through it. Uh, the headgear that comes with as well is pretty decent. I kind of like the casual look of him and jeans and just like the the FBI SWAT like vest on. Uh, and you can mix and match it with other headgears, but I definitely think just like either the default or that one look the best. You know, Pulse having kind of like a limited look for his headgear does kind of limit the stuff you can do with it. This SI one is quite nice. Uh, where he looks like that. So that's a pretty decent set as well. Possibly one of the better sets for Pulse. But I do like running this one. That was like an extraction uniform as well. Uh, I do like running this SWAT headgear. Sorry, uniform. And for the headgear, again, a lot of them kind of stick out like a sore thumb compared to the uniform. So I definitely think even just default will do the job. Or, you know, I guess that one's alright, but... The one that matches it. Again, I kind of wish they'd done more with Pulse headgears because... I don't know. I just kind of feel like they he's a bit lackluster in that department. Uh, who we got? We got Invisible Doc next. Hold up. Let's quickly reload him. There we go. Doc, uh, again, a bit basic, but I... You know what? Doc has quite a nice few ones. We'll, we'll get the, the meme ones out of the way. So you go. You got Rick and Morty. <laughs> you know. I don't run that one, if I'm going to be honest. But I guess it is kind of funny. Uh, you've got the Outbreak one. I don't think I got the headgear for the Outbreak one, but I do have the, like, hazmat uniform. So he did get, like, a hazmat headgear. Uh, this one was a really cool one. This is a charity bundle. I can't remember exactly what charity it was for. I think it might have been for, like, disabled gamers or something like that. So to help, like, disabled people have, like, accessibility in games, which was really cool. That might have been a different Sixth uh, Guardian bundle, so I might be wrong there. But Sixth Guardian bundles are always charity ones, so it's always cool to support something like that. Um, but, yeah, no, he got a pretty cool Pro League one. That's his Doctor's Curse uniform. Nothing else too crazy, which I own, but I definitely... Oh, yeah, there's the Captain Laserhawk one. Um, but definitely either the Wolfguard uniform, uh, and you've also got the Wolfguard headgear. That's a pretty cool headgear as well. Uh, but definitely this one. So, like, the Wolfguard uniform with the Wolfguard headgear. Just a really nice set. Or this, uh... 2019 collection one again if you want this you can buy it in the marketplace now so with like the wolf guard headgear i don't actually think i got the headgear which matches this uh 2019 one and i looked i looked in the marketplace 
and I actually couldn't find the matching headgear. So the Wolfguard one, if you do own it, and it should be available in the marketplace now, uh, I'd recommend either running that headgear with this uniform, or if you have the Wolfguard one, I think that one's cool as well. Now, I think this one is great. Uh, I have been running this one for a while. I might actually run the Wolfguard one for now, just because I kind of like my squad leaders looking like the squad leaders, since I am into the lore. So, like, Doc being the leader of Wolfguard, you know, Captain Doc, I think it looks cool if I have the Wolfguard attire on him. So, for right now, I think I'm going to keep that on Doc. Rook is an interesting operator. I have a few different things for him. Uh, you know, I've got this cardboard set, which is kind of funny. This was in packs. A little bit of a meme set, you know, he's got duct tape over his face. And this one, which you can get on the marketplace now, this was from an old battle pass. Uh, that is not the heck you're for it. This one is. This was actually from a little story where Twitch and Rook were like chasing people through France. And uh, you could get this in the battle pass. That was the theme of the battle pass. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, it's uh, Rook in biker gear, which is really cool. And I actually think this is probably my favorite one for Rook. It's just so different. It's so unique. Um, you can mix it with like the elite headgear. You know, I think that looks cool. You got the biker headgear, which matches it. Pro League, Rengoku. You know, a few other ones. A lot of them are kind of recolors. This was part of uh, the Apocalypse event, which is pretty decent. But uh, a decent amount of recolors you can get for him. But I, I, I think his elite is pretty cool. I like the Rengoku headgear. That one's cool. I don't think I got the uniform for that. No, I didn't. But I think the biker gang is, um, well, not the biker gang, sorry. The, the motorcycle gear is really cool. And I like to sort of use that helmet on top or sort of use the elite one. I think the elite one is quite cool because you can see his face, which is, uh, which is nice. Uh, Capcan, again, not loading. There we go, Capcan. I'll show off one. I got this recently thanks to Ubisoft. They gave me the Dead by Daylight skin for him. So he's the Trapper, which looks... Absolutely sick. If you guys haven't seen this yet, by the way, this is recently the, like, Trapper skin for Capcan. It's crazy. Uh, but we do have some other ones, like the Rengoku headgear looks really cool. Did I get the uniform for Rengoku? I don't think I did, but it matches this uniform, which is a uniform I'm about to show you in a sec, because look at that. That looks absolutely sick. Like, that's crazy cool. Uh, so you got that. You have a few other ones. You got, like, the Skull headgear, which came for Doctor's Curse. You've got this one, which was part of a community Twitch Prime bundle. Let's see, where is the uniform for it? Uh, was it this one? No. Where is it? This one, sorry. So this is a, a streamer. Sorry, a community artist, which came as a Twitch Prime bundle. So really cool set for Capcan. I definitely like this uniform. So this was part of a battle pass. I think that one looks cool. And the Rengoku headgear does look really cool as well, but I actually just like using the, the headgear which came with it. True, I could use this one as well, that's nice. Uh, a few other nice ones. I do have the hazmat headgear for him as well. But the headgear that came with it, it's a really cool set for Capcan, you know? Just completely unique. I really liked in old battle passes when they done really unique skins for them, which is uh, really cool. It's really nice. So, uh, next up we of course have Lord Tachanka. I don't actually have a crazy amount of weapon skins. I mean, uniforms for him. Of course, you got the the, the, the the unicorn one, which, you know, everyone loves. Who doesn't love unicorn to Chanka? Uh, I have this rogue set. The pro team rogue. And of course, you have... Uh, this was part of, like, SI. I think you can get this in the marketplace now if you want. This was, like, a Twitch drop for SI. Which is pretty cool. I don't really know which ones I like to use on him. I also have the board game skin for him. I think you can buy this in the marketplace if you want it as well. It's definitely not the coolest board game skin, so, you know, nothing nothing too much to worry about with that one. I do think his unique, his elite uniform is quite nice with the, you know, the, he's got his shirt off, which is kind of playing into, like, the Lord Tachanka meme. Like, you can even do it like that, which is kind of funny. Because I will say, a lot of his uniforms, I think, are alright. Like, I do actually kind of like that one, but this brown one is also cool. Like, this is, like, the Lord set, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I don't know. I kind of like the... I do like the shirtless attire. I do think it's kind of funny. And uh, the Elite helmet is cool, even with the Unicorn one. But I, said, I think something like that's kind of cool. I don't know. I kind of wish I had a black uniform to, like, mix it with, match it with. Because if I use it on any other uniform, I don't, I don't really think it matches like that. So... 
for now, I think I might leave Tachanka like that. But I definitely kind of want to see what I can do more with him. Uh, Jaeger is an interesting one. So I have one of the most expensive skins in Siege right now, uh, which is on the marketplace, this one. I can probably sell this right now for a grand total of $50,000 6 credits, which I'm considering doing. I was actually waiting to make this video just to show it off. You got this for backing the final tier of the R6 board game. I personally don't really care for this skin that much. It is really rare. That's the only way you could have got this, and now the only way you can get it is through the marketplace. And I might try and sell it for a pretty penny. Uh, but I personally don't even run it. So, uh, you know, I, and I, I'm not really one to care about flexing about skins. You know what I mean? They're like... I think skins are cool regardless of how expensive they are. I think it's all right. It's not my favorite. Uh, what I really do like doing for Jaeger is running the elite skin and this headgear. The Dead Baron set for Jaeger. I don't know. I always think this will be a really cool set. I think this is possibly one of the best combinations you can do with Jaeger. Like that headgear is just, it's just something different. You know what I mean? It's like, he's got like a few cool headgears. This was like a Rainbow Six Extraction crossover, Blacksmith, the G2 Esports set is a really nice set as well there you go uh but you got these other ones like this uh pro league i can't remember which i think it was like a european one or something like that it's a decent set for jaeger it's actually really nice don't think i run that often but i definitely think the dead baron set is really cool and if you guys are looking for that iron man set i probably will sell it on the marketplace i, I honestly just don't use it uh, and I might as well get like 50k or 6 credits from it, let's be honest. Uh, next up we have Bandit. He is also not loading. Bandit, I really like the most recent skin they've done for him. Uh, I'll show off a few first. So you've got like this one, I believe it was, where they... Is it this headgear? Or they had a different headgear, right? It might have been this one. Which is kind of funny. There's a few faceless headgears for Bandit. You have this one where he's wearing just like a little hat. You've got this one, which is his elite... You've got this one, which is the part of the set I really like for him, which is this, which was in, like, the last season Battle Pass. I think he looks like Buck in this set. I think it looks really nice. I don't know. I, I really like that one for Bandit. Um, I've got a few other ones. Nothing too crazy in the uniform department. Like, you've got his Elite. You've got this one, which is from Bravo Packs, but I don't think it's anything special. Uh, the Rogue set is nice. Like, this is a nice set for Bandit. Like a nice simple pro team set. And his uh, pro league one. I don't know which one the headgear is here for it. Pretty sure the headgear was skinny for this. Or am I think? Oh no, here it is. It's like a different shape helmet from his usual one. Like the earmuffs are gone. So that's like an actual really cool set. I like how he's got a different helmet. But uh, I don't know. I'm really liking, I'm really liking this set right now. Uh, with this headgear. Works with that headgear as well. Wow, there's finally use for that headgear. Possibly one of the ugliest uh, sets that Siege ever done. The, like, I don't even know what's called it, like the snake set. You can actually have use for that, which is um, kind of crazy that it matches that so well. So that's cool. I like that current bandit set, which is nice. So I'll run that for the time being. We have Frost. See how it loads her? There we go. Frost again. She has a nice elite skin. Uh, Decent Bravo one, Doctor's Curse. That's a nice uniform. Pro League, you know, all of these are just recolors, nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm a fan of unique sculpts, so like her elite skin's really nice, but so is this from Operation. I think this was North Star when Thunderbird was added to the game, this uniform came, which is just, you know, that's, that's a nice uniform. She's wearing some like Hunter Wellies and stuff like that. Um, you know, this headgear, I think this was the headgear that came with it, and this is like her elite headgear, so both of them work. You know, really well with that uniform. You got this one as well. Which I think is really nice. But I definitely think that's the best uniform because a lot of them are recolors. Uh, this is another community artist, Paracoat, which is nice. She has some decent headgears. I've got quite a lot here. But I don't know. I think I'm definitely a sucker for the whole uh, uniform she's got going on right now. Doctor's Curse. And she looks cool with her hair down, but I actually think it matches this set using the elite headgear. Like with her hair tied up. I don't know, I think it's a really nice uh, set for Frost. Let me know your thoughts. Do you guys like this set? I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, we have Valkyrie next. Now, I have a few sets that I kind of like for Valkyrie. We've got, like, the, this red set. Was that Phase? No, sorry, that's Six Guardians. So they've done a Six Guardian charity set for Valkyrie, which looks like that, which is really nice. 
Uh, I believe there's a phase set for her, which is like red as well, so you can sort of mix and match that. So you got like phase, six guardian. Did I get the phase headgear? I believe I did. So she had like face paint on, I think. I'm probably overlooking it right now. Unless it's all the way down here. Or maybe I somehow didn't get the phase headgear. I may be missing it. Unless it somehow just disappeared from my account. Huh, okay. I, that's weird that I have the uniform and not the headgear. Unless I'm just blind. But I actually really like this headgear for her. I cannot remember where it came from. That one's a cool one. A lot of these are nice. This one's really nice as well. The blacksmith one. I think a lot of the blacksmith skins were kind of bad. But they kind of cooked with this one. Like even just with like her elite skin. It's, it, the, the only unfortunate thing is that the scarf is like its own look. So you have to match it with like, I don't know, the mission blacksmith uniform, which is this one. So it does go together in a set like that. But if you don't really want it like that, it doesn't really match other skins. Like you can kind of look past the hood part and it does look cool like that, but the colors do clash. Which I think is the unfortunate thing with that headgear because I definitely think... Uh, that's the headgear, which is really nice. Like, so is this black one as well. But this one is cool as well. This one works well with other uniforms, I think. Just uh, a few of them there. Even that one. That's really nice. I kind of might run this set for Valkyrie now. I think that's a really nice one. But yeah, Valkyrie has some interesting skins. I kind of just wish that one with the hood didn't happen. Um, this one I actually have equipped because I really like it, but I'll show a few. So we have this, uh, like, regional set for her, for Kavera. They also fi the, they fixed the suppressor skin, finally, which is good. Uh, we also have this Ghost Eyes uniform with this Ghost Eyes headgear, which is the Ghost Eyes set, which came in Operation Solar Raid. A very nice set for, um, a very nice set for Cav. We have, like, this Pro League one. Um, I kind of find the other uniform for that. Somewhere down here. There it is. Like, Pro League skins, you know, you, you know you're getting more Pro League skins. There's nothing too crazy about them. Uh, Saucy, you may have seen them before. They're a community artist. This was a cool little, uh, Prime bundle. But I definitely like running, uh, like, oh, this was a cool one as well. This was, uh, Operation, oh, what was it called? High Caliber, the one where Thorn came. They gave Cav a lot of nice sets. Uh, but... Like I said, I like running the um, like the squad leader uniforms. So I think that uniform is cool. This is like the full ghost eye set for her. However, I really like this headgear. Which I think it just works really well with that uniform. Like that, to me, that's what Captain Kivera looks like. So I really like running it like that. So definitely my favorite one uh, for for Kivera. Uh, we have Echo. We have a few here. So of course you got like the Yakuza ones. You had the, the Elite skin. And then you also have Kiryu as well. Of course, they gave him two characters from Yakuza. You have Majima as well. You've got the Elite. Uh, that's a cool uh, little, uh, what do you call it? About Alpha Pack Legendary. That's the word I was trying to hit. Uh, you have this Koi one, which is actually made by my friend Kubi. Now, Koi aren't in Siege anymore. They went back to being Rogue. So you can't buy this anymore. I don't know if this will become available on the marketplace, but... It's just a really nice skin. You know, purple looks absolutely sick. It's a really great set for Echo. And nothing else too major for Echo, I don't think. Again, it does just come down to your preference. I'm not, like, massive on recolors. I, I think sometimes they look cool. Uh, but sometimes I think they're, like, you know, they're all right. Uh, but I definitely like the Koi set right now. Maybe a bit biased because one of my friends made it. But I also just think it looks like a... I just think it looks like a really cool set. I like the Yakuza ones as well, because I do like the Yakuza franchise and they're quite fun. Oh, this was a... Was this not a community artist as well? Which is kind of cool. I didn't even realize the Nighthaven headgear gave him blue eyes. Don't know how Nighthaven have that power, but I guess it just gave him some contacts. But yeah, decent sets for... um, Decent sets for Echo. Nera, uh, I kind of like a few of them. Now, her elite skin's okay. I like this uniform. I kind of wish she had, like, more sleeves down her arm. And this is a matching headgear. Like, it, it, I don't know. It's all right. It's not my favorite, though. It's not my favorite. Uh, but there's, you know, it's recolors again. And I can only like so many recolors. 
Like, I like this one. Uh, this is a cool one. I like this one as well, because her, like, shield is actually down on her face. Which is, I think, like, really cool. Um, to put with some other uniforms. Like, uh, this is cool. That's kind of a decent set from Mira. I like how that looks. Did she not get a Viper Strike uniform, or... No, she did get a Viper Strike uniform. Did she get headgear? No, she would have got headgear. So she does have a Viper Strike set, you know, the squad she's part of under Captain Habana. Which is cool. I might run that for the for the lore implications of it. Which is really cool. But yeah, uh decent skins, decent skins. Yeah, I'll run that headgear with it. That looks cool. Mirror is decently cool. Legion, uh, we have a few skins on him. So I'll show this one from the board game. You have this one, which is part of the board game. Again, I don't really use it that much. I might sell this on the Siege Marketplace. Maybe get a little pretty penny for it. Get some R6 credits for it. It's nice. Uh, but it's definitely not my favorite. Like, I think... It, I don't know. I like skins like this. I think they're cool. But I just don't think they're for me. Uh, you also got, like, another zombie skin for him. If I can even find it. This one, which is part of Doctor's Curse. Like that. Which is a really cool skin. Like, both really cool sets there for him. Uh, like, the uniforms are, like, just both bloodied up and everything. This is in the current Battle Pass, which I think is cool. It's like an exosuit that Nighthaven made. Bunch of other recolors. Nothing too special. That's nice. I, I, just, I like the... The Blood Orchid seasonals were really nice, because it was just black. And you can't go wrong with, like, a black uniform. Uh, of course, you have his Elite skin. It actually matches well with this headgear. Goes really well with his Elite skin, because, of course, his Elite skin just looks like that. And I think his Elite is really nice. Uh, right now, I'm actually kind of digging this. It, it is a bit of an interesting skin, I won't lie. But I'm kind of into it. With his Elite headgear. I don't know why. I kind of like it. There's like the shark headgear. But I don't know. I'm kind of digging his Elite skin with this right now. So I think that's kind of like my current favorite set for Legion. But I kind of want more. Ella, Ella, Ella. Right. <laughs> We've got the, the Puppet headgear. The curse puppet headgear. How could we not have the puppet headgear? Um, let's see what else we got. Of course, we got the elite, uh, like a pro league region. I can't remember what region it is though. We have this, da, 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 which is our SI set. There's our headgear. It's a really nice set. I thought that SI season was really cool. I really like the skins they done for this SI season. I think Ella had done really well on that. Uh, this Nighthaven headgear is really cool for her. Wait, hold up. I'll show something really cool. Watch, I like. Is this Pro League uniform, boy. right? Ben, thank you so much for the Prime sub, by the way. I appreciate that. Uh, this Ella one is really nice because... Do I have a default skin on her gun? Oh, no. I sold Black Ice in the Marketplace. That makes sense. I was wondering what happened there. But um, what I like about like her hair in this is because, if you don't know, before Ella... Uh, was officially revealed or like we had early looks of her or something like that uh, She had white hair instead of green hair So this is kind of like a callback to like pre-release Ella when she was blonde because blonde her actual natural hair if I'm not wrong uh, I believe you see it in like some other skins uh, Like her release skin a little bit uh, I don't know if it's actually her natural hair, but she was meant to be blonde is what I'm kind of saying You got the cat ears one. She's got some airpods in this is a siege tail skin it's kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, a lot of great skins for Ella. Uh, this one, I don't know. There's something about this one I don't really like. Never mind. You can see her roots there. She is naturally blonde. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Her sister is a brunette as well. But I like this headgear, like this Nighthaven one, but I don't feel like I have much to match it with. And the Nighthaven squad sets they've done were kind of ass. I actually, I actually got this skin in that season. Uh, so if I can, like, like this, I mean, I guess it's all right. It's kind of cool. It's better than most stuff I own for Ella. But I don't know. I feel like that uniform doesn't match the best. Because I kind of want to use that red headgear. But so I don't know. I feel like something feels off for this. But I guess she's also in her Nighthaven attire. So I guess it's kind of cool. So I guess, like, my lore headcanon is like her being in Nighthaven, so that's what the skin looks like. So, you know, it's pretty cool. It's not that bad. Uh, Vigil, another operator which has a lot of great skins. Firstly, I like this. It's just white. Basically, white visual. Visual? Vigil? It's just like a inverted visual. 
I keep calling them visual. Vigil. <laughs> which looks uh, really cool. Uh, G2 Esports has a really nice set for Vigil. They cooked with that one. Brilliant set. Uh, Mouse Esports, which is an old Pro League set from 2018. You probably don't even know about this team. This is something that I might consider selling on the marketplace because it does seem to go for like a decent, like a few thousand or six credits. And I don't really run it. So that's cool. Uh, we have his team skin from the Invitational era. Which is a really nice set. You've also got the Money High skins. I don't know if these are available to sell yet, but they probably will. I don't know how licensing works with uh, skins like this, so maybe they, they won't be able to sell this on the marketplace because I don't know if they have the license for the skin anymore. So you had to buy it at the time it was out. But of course, if you've seen Money Heist or La Casa de Papel, it's a really good show. It's in Spanish, but it's a brilliant show. And the fact they have skins in here is really cool. Uh, you know, we got like Pro League. Really nice. Uh, this is a current set for him. Now, they they finally gave Vigil a face reveal. And it's look, I'm not saying this skin isn't cool, but I kind of wish for his first skin showing off his face, it was a bit more grounded and didn't look like this. Like, I kind of wish he just didn't have equipment on and we could just have his face, because I would like to have just a maskless headgear for him and just put it on all his skins. You know, just imagine that hat wasn't there. I don't know, I feel like Vigil would kind of look cool, cool over that, but as it currently stands... That's the only face reveal we have. So, I don't know. I kind of just like to run his elite skin. Or even put those goggles on him. That's actually... I like this one. Yeah, I might run that. Or can get, like, another full, like, blackout uniform. Don't really have anything like that, though, do I? I don't know. His elite uniform looks good with that. That's pretty nice. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, Maestro. Okay, so I have a skin... Which is also part of the board game skin. Again, I might consider selling it. I never use it. There it is there. You know, he's, he's maybe a dead sheriff. Like a zombie sheriff. He's like missing his nose. Which is uh, really cool. If I can get it around. There you go. You can see like the bone and everything. So really well done headgear. I like this from the apocalypse event. I can't find it. I like his afro. Not his afro. Mohawk. That's what it's called. That looks really cool. I guess uh, that's a cool one. Uh, Rengoku. You had Grand Larceny, where he's in Fedora. You also had Showdown, where he's got like a, another sheriff hat. They really like making him a sheriff, don't they? Pro League. That's a fun hat. Oop. This one. That's fun. Pro League, like I was saying. Uh, you know, decent ones. Decent ones. Decent ones. Uh, for his headgear. I mean, sorry, for his uniforms. Uh, you know, nothing too crazy. I think the Pro League set with, um, the Pro League set with the, uh, Sheriff headgear looks really nice. Like this. That's nice. I feel like this is also quite a decent skin for him. I don't know what I would match it with, though. That actually looks kind of nice. I kind of like the simplicity of this Maestro set. But I also do like this. I don't know. I think that kind of goes hard. So I'll probably run that on Maestro. Alibi, of course, her elite skin just came out. And this is a lore-based elite skin, which I think is really cool. I believe that's her during her time in the Vince Aguera crime family. Um, we do have like other ones, like this one, which is in Bravo Packs, which is pretty cool. We have... Nothing else too crazy, to be honest. A lot of these are recolors. I don't really think a lot of this stuff is, you know, too too impressive. Uh, so I kind of just like his her, his her elite skin right now. That's a cool headgear as well. I can't remember where that was from. I actually think I prefer that headgear with her elite uniform. That kind of goes hard. I like that. That looks like, okay, I was undercover, but now I've got, like, the full headpiece on and I'm going in. Pretty cool. I like that one. Clash, uh, you know, it's Clash. She has this legendary set, which is awful. I might just sell this on the, in the marketplace just to get rid of it. Because it, it's, it's hideous. Worst skin ever. Uh, they gave her a Pro League set. Decently nice. Not bad. Uh, they gave her this. 
which is like her current wolf guard set like their decontamination set which i find it interesting she got a wolf guard set because the last time we had a wolf guard battle pass she also got that's not the right hat she also got a wolf guard set which is interesting that they gave her two wolf guard sets considering other operators don't even have a wolf guard set to begin with but that's cool um but i like the i like the the current wolf guard set for her like the decontamination one i don't know i think that's cool kaid oh they've got a lot of kaid so you have the rainbow's magic one which kind of speaks for itself <laughs> you know uh his elite skin is really nice because it makes him young pretty cool pretty cool uh pro league right hold on let me put on this you got two pro league headgears which are currently not loading there we go no minor difference in coloring and the hat uh you got this uh, containment one uh you've also got so like as you can see the difference in the they do look different and it's kind of preference which one you like I kind of like running, like, see, the thing is, when they made him older, right, his skin tone is obviously, is kind of just caught in a bit, uh, darker, right? So if you use, like, the young headgear, which I kind of want to use on, like, an older version of him uniform, his skin just doesn't match tone. You know, which I guess makes sense, he has gotten older, but it's also just, like, it kind of ruins it for me, because I'd like to have him with his young headgear, but with, like, a... I don't know, old, older uniform. But I actually really want this headgear for him. I think he looks really cool in that, so I might honestly end up buying that. It's a really nice one. But I will just have to, I don't know. I, I, I like him being young, but I also like him kind of being like lore accurate old as well. So even like that one, which changes his beard, is, is kind of fun. Or even just a pro league one. You know, that, that looks simple enough. That's nice. But I, I think I'll definitely want to buy this. Because I feel like that's probably going to be my favorite headgear for Kaid. But yeah, that's Kaid. Mozzie, you know, there's a lot with Mozzie, right? We got this one, which is a competitor one. Uh, This is the headgear one with it. So the old set for Mozzie. Pretty cool, pretty cool. He also got another, like, SI one and a different SI, which is this one. Again... Another really cool set for him. He's, of, of course, got the pizza set, which you can now buy in the marketplace if you don't own this. So if you want the skin, you can buy it in the marketplace. It's actually going for quite cheap. It's, it's not as expensive as I thought it would go for. People are getting bargains on the skin, so if you want to head to the marketplace. Uh, the Navi set, of course, Navi aren't in Siege, which is... They're not in Siege anymore, which kind of adds a bit of rarity to that set. Uh, TSM, also not in Siege. They have a set from Mozzie, which looks really nice. We have some other Pro League ones. You know, I've got this Night Headgear for him. It's cool. A few other recolors. Pro League Headgear, which is nice. Uh, did I show off this headgear? Yes, I did. You got this pink one with a Mohawk. Fun headgear for him. Pro League, again, another nice one. This one, Brain Bucket. It's cool. I like this one quite a little bit. And, of course, there's Elite Headgear. So, there's a lot you can do in Mozzie. Like, even that kind of looks cool. Don't actually know how I like to run Mozzie these days. There's, there's so many combinations. Uh, I think I kind of like that uniform. Or even the Pro League one. There's so much to do in Mozzie. I always get stumped with what to do with Mozzie, because he has that many cool skins that I don't know what to do with them. I'll, I'll do, like, this set, I guess, for now. But he has so many nice skins, so it's so easy just to get stuck in this loop of being, oh, I don't know what skin to put on Mozzie. Because I, I feel like they've, they've done really well with Mozzie over the years. Like, it's really hard to release a bad Mozzie set, I think. Just because of how cool he is as an operator. No, but yeah, that's the uh, that is Mozzie. Pretty cool. Who got next? Warden. Ah, I just bought this headgear on the marketplace itself. This is from the Grand Larceny event. Looks like he's straight out of Peaky Blinders. Sick. You got this one. Uh, his elite one looks really cool with that. 
He has the, the Smission Blacksmith one. I don't like the earpiece, uh, earpiece thing, but I like how his hair looks in this, which is cool. Most of these are just recolors. You know, nothing too crazy. I'm really into his Grand Larceny headgear right now, though. With his uniform, you got Protein one, his Elite. Uh, Pro League looks really nice. Pro League, Pro League and this hat. You know, that's a good set. Uh, but right now, I'm actually kind of into this set just because I just bought this headgear on the marketplace. So I kind of like how he looks in the Grand Larceny stuff. Which cool. Goyo. Uh, I have a few for Goyo. So for starters, I'll show off the, the Puppet headgear. These are really cheap on the marketplace right now. If you want uh, like the Puppet headgears, jump on the marketplace because they're so cheap. People are just selling them for like 200 credits, 150 credits. Uh, we've got current, uh, current SI2024 one for him, which is nice. Uh, I like his Red Hammer set. It is decent. It's pretty cool. You have uh, FaZe Clan. Did I get the headgear for FaZe Clan? There you go. This is the FaZe Clan Pro League set. Again, another nice set for Goyo. And But I like running this headgear, or this one, where he's quite clean clean shaven i saw someone sell this on the marketplace for like forty thousand or six credits but i think they were just transferring between accounts because let's be honest no one in their right mind is going to spend 40k on this headgear that's so much money in real life so i like this uniform with this headgear or this headgear he looks cool i believe that's like undercover uniform he's in so that's why it looks really cool. But the hat goes hard as well. <laughs> well, my, I don't think I have much for Romai. All of these are recolors. Grand Larceny. Uh, Pro League. This is like the only unique sculpt I've got for Romai. From SI. Which I might honestly just run on him. But you got all these other ones. But again, I don't think any of these are too special. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I like his SI set. Again, I don't really have anything too special for Romai. But that's it. Oryx, I just bought a new uniform on the uh, on the marketplace because I really like it. This one, the antelope one. Uh, this is from Mute Protocol. Uh, I, I, I think he's got decent uniforms, like the Pro League one. That's nice. But I like this one as well. But his headgears, I just don't think he doesn't... I don't think he has a lot of great headgears. I, I don't know, I just sold, like, a legendary headgear where he has, like, horns. Not like this, but, like, uh, it kind of looks like Thor's helmet, you know what I mean? But I think Oryx is alright. Uh, he's not my f visually favorite operator skin-wise, but, you know, that's, uh, it's alright. I like that uniform, though. I'm glad I, I bought that on the marketplace. I got that pretty cheap as well. Melissi, again, it's another operator. I just, I don't really like her skins to begin with. And the fact that they're all recolors, I mean, I, I could buy her elite skin, but I don't even like her elite skin that much either, I'm not going to lie. So, like, Melissa's an operator where it's kind of just like, eh, okay. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't really have much for Melissa, which I care about. Like, I guess that's a cool headgear. Her hair's a bit all over the place there, though, but... Yeah, that's a nice one, pillow hat on her camo hat i don't know i just don't think melissa's you know, one of my favorite ones that's all right pretty basic but i don't know i don't really like melissa's skins that much in general aruni's fun i like her g2 set like g2 always do well with uh skins that's cool we've also got her Night Haven, Night Haven standard skins aren't nice. This was Aim Labs. This is like a collaboration with Aim Labs. Which makes her blue. Which is cool. Uh, they have another Night Haven set. How many Night Haven sets she has? I guess she is a Night Haven operator, but. It's alright. It's pretty cool. Nothing nothing too extreme. Like, compare, uh, like the SI set is alright. That's kind of cool. I might run that for now. Change of pace on the uh, Arini, not Melissa. Thunderbird, Thunderbird, Thunderbird. I really like Thunderbird's elite skin. I'll go through a few of these because I think Thunderbird has some nice skins, you know. 
That looks sick. We've also got like an SI set, which you can buy on the marketplace now. Really nice set for her. She has a wolf guard set. Which is this. Another nice set. But I I actually really like Thunderbird's Elite Skin. This is a cool one as well. But her Elite Skin is one of my favorite skins in the game, I think. Like that. This goes so hard. Even change up the headgear a bit. You know, put the Wolf Guard headgear on her. Boom. I think uh, I think she definitely has some of the best... Uh, sorry, the best Elite Skin in the game. Thorin is another operator where I kind of think her design is boring. Like, yeah, I've got the Red Hammer set for her. Which is cool. But I don't like Red Hammer headgears. I like Red Hammer uniforms, but I don't like Red Hammer headgears, so... I'm kind of more inclined just to take the headgear off and do something like that, which I think is alright, but, you know, massively don't really care for Thorn as an operator anyway. I think I think Thorn's actually a bad operator. Hot take, people only play her for her 1.5. Her gadget actually sucks, and I don't like her elite skin either, so I I'll, I'll take the Red Hammer one. Again, I like Red Hammer uniforms, but I don't like Red Hammer headgears. Azami's really nice. So, I like the uniform from, uh, uh, what do you call this again? Doctor's Curse. I like the little guy on the back. I think he's cool. I like the Viper Strike set. It's, of course, her squad uniform as part of Viper Strike. I think that's really nice. But her Elite skin is also really good as well. Like, I think they've done really well with her Elite skin. Like, that uniform is sick. Headgear is good as well. I like to sort of maybe mix and match it. That looks amazing, though. I think Azami's one of my favorite characters in this game in, in general. Right. <laughs> I forgot I had this one equipped. So, uh, Solace. Let's start with, like, Pro League. Uh, Pro League looks like a really cool set for Solace. You've got the Ghost Dice set for her as well, which is da -da -da -da, this one. Again, another really cool set. Uh, but I also got this headgear, which is currently in Alpha Packs, called Shade. Which is really cool. I think so. So I actually do really like the Ghost Eye set for her, but I might actually run this with Pro League, because... I don't know, I think that's funky. I do kind of like grounded skins, but I like this as well. Just because it's a unique look for Solace, and you don't really see many people with this headgear yet. Nice. Fenrir doesn't really have... Uh, no, I, I don't have the G2 skin for Azami. Fenrir doesn't really have much right now. I'm kind of just like his... Like, what's the difference between these skins? They're so similar. I kind of wish he got a Red Hammer set. And, like, his headgears are okay. Like, the tie-up's cool. But, yeah, you know, there's not really much for Fenrir yet. He's still relatively new to the game, so he doesn't really have any skins. And, of course, Tuberau... Final up we have here. Uh, I prefer his default. I'm not going to lie. Like, the headgears are nothing special either. I prefer his default. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about which one of your skins are your favorite. And also check out the marketplace whilst it's live. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Let's catch you all later. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.